Hey YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, my name's Ryan, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over the workflow, the audio to audio workflow that I made to produce the back-to-back, -back, the before and after, the skinny and the fat that you saw or heard at the beginning of this segment. I did this using the new natively supported generative audio model known as Ace Step. It's natively supported in Comfy UI. Very, very, very exciting. So I'm going to go over this workflow very briefly. And in so doing, I'm also going to revisit a lot of the audio manipulation nodes that I've previously built for your convenience in Comfy UI, as well as some that are brand spanking new. Let's shrink this down. Let's start at the beginning. What do you say? So our input audio is going to be Vesuvius, a track, a classic hot track that we all know, we all love. It sounds something like this. Mm, 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 sick. Then we just manipulate it a little bit. Uh, this is an example of, you know, a use case for these um, for these audio manipulation nodes. Because like, why? Like, I have Ableton, I have Cubase, I have Pro Tools. Why would I want to do this? Well, why would I want to switch applications just to stretch six seconds of time to see what happens to it when I run it through the model? That's why I put this stuff in here. It's for convenience. It's for control, which is what we all are looking for, I'm sure, when we use Comfy UI. So this is what it sounds like, just this cheap audio stretch. Okay. And then, importantly we use that as the input latent. So we encode the audio to the latent space at just as we would with an image, but it's just slightly different. But on the surface, it looks exactly the same. So in the normal workflow, you'd use an empty latent. We're gonna use our Vesuvius encoded into the latent space and run it through this model. Okay, and then here's one of the new nodes that I've developed just for you. It's called knob. And what you do with this node is you turn the knob okay you turn this knob and you can turn this knob and what it does is add a certain amount of knob like effect to the audio um so here's what it sounds like without without any knob at all and then here it is with some knob It's subtle, but you can mess with it with this and get a bunch of different a uh, bunch of different values. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this up. It's probably going to give us some bit crush effect, if I, if I remember correctly. Okay, perfect. Sick, sick, dude. All right, so that just that just errored out a uh, little little sidebar here, uh, friends. That errored out, and I screwed up. Uh, I am I am actively learning how to train audio Loras for this, so keep an eye out. All right, back to the task at hand. Um, you know, so so we've got knob, we've got some other uh, more heavy duty stuff like flex audio latent blend. There's some um, there's some some other like audio reactive audio latent nodes that I'm working on. So keep an eye out for those. Um, but other than that, you know, we've got a lot of audio manipulation nodes, just like simple utility nodes, some some effect nodes like that time stretch you saw. Um, and, you know, another reason why, as to why I would do this work and put this in here other than for your convenience is because it's important to be able to manipulate this audio on the fly according to other parameters so that we can use it for audio reactivity. For those uninitiated, my node suite it's this flex feature system, which is like feature reactivity. And a feature is just a data source, audio being a really good example of a data source. So that's how we do audio reactivity. It's by extracting these features and then using them. So here's another very real use case. If you wanna make a intro clip for your stupid YouTube channel, but you suck at video editors and you only wanna spend one and a half minutes, you can do it with these with these nodes as I have here. So there's uh, loads of other effects, loads of other uh, utility nodes. Uh, there's audio, which so, there's source separation, so you can get the different instruments. There's some rudimentary audio filtering, and again, it's not to make it sound good. It's so that we can use it in our in our pipeline. Um, 
so this is just a spattering of some of the nodes that are available in my my uh, my main node pack. I'll link it in the description along with the GitHub to Ace Step. Uh, feed me, you know, feed me rappers, feed me beats, feed me stars on GitHub. It will sustain my life force. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll see what happens. I'm still Ryan. I'll continue to be for a little while at least. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye bye.